recent times, the use of plastic to package consumables is more prevalent than it was some years ago. For some, from water to plantain chips to sobolo or bisap, they come in all sizes, making it more convenient for the consumer. According to health experts, when heat is in contact with plastic, certain toxins from the plastic begin to leak and these toxins find their ways into tissues of humans. The following report seeks to find out more. The polythene bag, commonly known as the olonka or margarine rubber, was only used to package dry items like cereals, grains, some cold items and other food products. Now it is used to package all kinds of foods and products, be it hot or cold. According to experts, the most worrying trend is the serving of hot edible substances in these polythene bags. About 50% of Ghanaians would usually have their hot cocoa, wache, rice or kinky served in these transparent polythene bags since it comes in handy. Apart from the transparent bags, food is sometimes served in the black polythene bag, commonly known as weasiesum. According to Espect, these plastic bags are supposed to serve as wrappers for dry items or cold products and not to be used for hot liquids or foods. It is believed that there is a reaction when hot substances or foods are put in polythene bags. This has a long-term health effect on the consumer. A renowned surgeon, Professor Kwabna Frimpon Watting, cautions. All these plastics have uh, certain properties, depending on what you want to do with it, you add chemicals to make it that way. Now, if because the, the soft ones, you want to wrap things with them, you add chemicals to make them soft, pliable, and transparent. Uh, but others, you want to make them hard and transparent, and that can contain water, gas, oxygen, and carbon dioxide, so that some of the uh, beverages that contain uh, carbon dioxide can be heard in those things. So use the things the way it's intended to, to, to be used. Bottled or sachet water left in the heat also has health implications. The heat causes toxins from the plastic to leak into the water and these toxins make their way into breast tissues. Women who consume these hot substances from plastics are mostly at risk. Every plastic product is made for a specific purpose. For instance, plastic bottles have a specific number of times that it can be recycled. Unfortunately, these specifics are not adhered to. The good prices are number um, two, four, and five. So don't heat it, boil it, or wrap around food, or microwave it if you're not supposed to, if, if it's not a microwave material. Shall we then go to the days when foods like wache and rice were wrapped in the leaf, which is commonly known as ba, ahatao, or ahaban. What are the health effects? Get that discipline to get your own bowls, then go there and be served in uh, some leaves. You may get some bacteria in the, on the leaves, but certainly the bacteria will not kill you. Children, according to experts, are the most affected, considering that their world seems to be full of rubber products. Some of these chemicals are called plasticizers, and they behave like hormones in the body so that if it gets into the system of unborn babies through the mother or babies they are prone to obesity they are prone to diabetes they are prone to uh, liver disease if it's a feeding bottle and you want to clean it sometimes you just use a simple disinfectant and then you, after that you rinse the disinfectant they cook they, no, they don't only boil water they cook they cook the feeding bottles they cook the teeth and uh, after, after cooking, you see that the bottle is distorted. The use of rubber comes with a number of challenges, though it is convenient for most Ghanaians. But be careful what you put in a rubber. Use rubber bags for the right purpose, and do not put hot substances, especially edible substances, in a transparent polythene bag. Eat wisely to stay healthy.